Look at this hand under the mulligan, under the London mulligan rule. My hand would be so amazing. Uh oh. This is probably not good for me. He said, Hope you don't stream my pile of cards. I have a feeling my deck's gonna match up poorly against a pile of cards. We'll see though. Maybe not. What am, what am I up against? Oh, uh, is it like Team Wreck? Is it the Reclamation deck? The Varflesh. If he's playing Reclamation Teachings, I'm probably gonna lose. Despite the fact he's just discarding to hand size. Yeah, Nexus of Fate. How bad is the matchup? He's gonna have Remand. But I guess I should just start jamming. Maybe he won't have Remand. Maybe I can resolve it next turn. That was my one out to win game one, I think. And I might still lose. <laughs> Jeez. It's gonna be pretty embarrassing when I lose this game. Finally, card that does something. Might be the smartest to give uh, give them four mana. Probably okay with cryptic command in hand. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. And by probably, I mean definitely. Might be game losing. Need a new song about not drawing too many. Yeah. All right, I've seen some fetch man for Jace, but I think I'd try to. Yeah, I think I'm off it. Just gonna thin my deck. You have to be pretty skilled to manage to not tap a single blue mana when you're tapping five lands. Pretty impressive. All right, I've got to be far enough ahead that I'm going to win, right? Even though it's a non-winnable matchup. Well, I guess not. Just giving me 17 extra lands just doesn't matter. I'm literally up like what, 10 cards now? And I still can't win? Sounds making Desani look like a genius, yeah. To be fair, Desani has like way more, way more spot removal than I do. He probably just has almost as many dead cards as I do. Let's see, six mana for snap, cryptic.
Finally, a card that does something. Dice with fatal push. Well, at least I get to get a peek. I only have one basic line left in my deck. Should be able to win. I'm probably gonna find a Jace and find enough gas to, to just not let them resolve a spell for the rest of the game. Oh, they have two cryptic command in hand. I draw this kind of gas. What else? I'm not even sure that's good, but we know he has a cryptic in hand, so. Oh, blue sun Zenas, that's right. Oh, there's only one Nexus of Fate in this deck? Hmm. I didn't realize. This is a horrible matchup, yeah. For reference, this is a game where our opening missed their third land drop like four or five turns. And I drew multiple cards with Teferi, and it's still kind of close. Do I even care about that? Not really. Just gonna go for it. Blue Sun Zenus. They're probably gonna keep at least three or four mana up. Play around mana leak, might as well. This mana leak's not gonna counter anything anymore. I was gonna plus. Do you have a fetch plan? No. All right, spider space. Um, probably play you after the league. Probably have a time for a match or two. That's cool. Or I can play you before if you've got to be somewhere in between. Alright, sideboard helps a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Rest in peace is good. Don't know, just rely on surgical. I think that's probably better, right? Yeah, I don't think rest in peace. If I didn't have surgical, I agree rest in peace might be good, but I think I mean it might be better than an angel. Yes, I think blue white is good. I think you can kind of tune blue white if you have a read on the metagame too. Go one way or another. Sounds kind of clunky, but I'm gonna keep. 
serum visions, etc. It's pretty under underwhelming scry. It's also only on rest in peace just for spots where you're kind of desperate. Just bad luck. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna play a search into remand. Rainy day. Thanks for the follow. I think I'm just gonna opt. Might be a mistake though. Could easily be a mistake. I could probably just cryptic and force Jace and then win. That was bad. Oh well. Shouldn't matter. Okay, you're playing London? Nice. How can you get a read on the metagame? Well, obviously you can't... You can, you can like predict if like one or two decks that are not going to be, like, you know, if you think there's going to be like no humans, no band spirits, you can make a few adjustments. If you think no one's going to play burn, you can make a few adjustments. If you think, you know, there's, but obviously you can't be like. I'm not even sure what I'm scared of. Maybe grow spiral. Who are you testing with Sky Pantheon? Are you gonna break it? Maybe White Winnie is good, Kai. Should probably just play White Winnie. It's the only deck you've top eight at a PTO is in the past 15 years, right? 20? No, not quite 20. I guess even when you won my first in my when I played in my first PT and you won. You're you're already playing a uh, white tweeny. It's just your deck. Just what you were meant to be playing. Finkel doesn't test. Um, Finkel was if if there's a deck he he likes, he'll sometimes play a bit, and then he'll get to the testing team house. He usually tries to, you know, fly out for five, six days and then, you know, and then he, he like picks up, he gets the, you know, team gives him the lowdown, he picks up a deck and he, he just jams. But he doesn't just show up to the PT he was having played a game or something like that. Oh, well, oops. Yeah, it's only a Jace, had a backup. This is just cruel. All right. Not today.
looks like we're gonna play for a game. He asked me if uh, I'm playing a third game and he'll just scoop. It'd be kind of funny if I just got jibated. Gave me the good yellow hat hooks. I'm at show. Thanks for the, the resub. Hope you keep enjoying uh, your stay. What if he doesn't scoop? Oh well. I'll out him on social media. It's the best I can do. <laughs> no, I don't. I think he. He led the match was. I mean, maybe it was the long con. Maybe it's a long con, but he said, hey, good luck, have fun, yellow, big fan. So we'll see. <laughs> It'd be kind of hilarious. And his gas, I'm really looking for search for his count on turn two, though. In this matchup. But yeah, this hand's good, and I drew the land. It is true big fans tend to be sketchy. Definitely look out for these big fans. Uh, I think I'll bottom first time. The greed. I don't want to just click now. In case his hand is just super reactive. Probably just already already Lou this this game. Just how many lands does he play? He never has lands. Should I take Rayman? He can't cast Cryptic. I guess I'll take the Reman even though he needs lands. Because he can't cast anything. Hey Greg Batch. Oh yeah, it's FNM night tonight. Fun everyone. The Paper Frog. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Alright, my hand's pretty bad, so I'm just gonna jam. It doesn't look like his hand did much. I guess he could go like Grow Spiral into Cycle Elimination. I think he should have Cycle Elimination first, right? Oh, uh, he already had the land. So now he could like Cycle Elimination and then main phase a Gear Hulk for some pretty good value. Then I get to jam Lyra and hope I don't get punished too hard. Are you greedy playing five colorless lands? Um, depends. If you don't have double white cards, maybe without double white cards and 25 lands you can get away with... I mean, a lot of people play it. I'm pretty conservative, I guess. Oh, it looks like an IP is just rolling alliance. Nice. Alright, got there. Teachings? Wow. I did not expect he. I think you just have to jam Gear Hulk. Ugh, I shuffled away the chase. Alright. I think I can ride Snapcaster, Click, etc. to victory here. Does obviously the not draw. Should I lose on purpose to see if he actually scoops? I'm not gonna gamble. All right, looks like this game is officially over.
So he could get another Abrupt Decay. No, he didn't play Abrupt Decay this game. I'll just counter it. I get to untap plans anyways. Launch K lead. Hmm. You always want to flip mana in these spots. In case you need to play something. It's gonna get a rub decay. Should I even surgical mystical teachings? Probably not, right? What am I gonna surgical though? Could wait till he plays Gear Hulk. Oh, the Dillion click. Alright, um, yeah, I'm gonna just... I don't know, why not? Wait, there's only two? Click, Gear Hulk, Snap, Cryptic, Cryptic. I guess he trims on. Yeah, I should have just, yeah, whatever. I'm sure I could be playing a tiny bit better. For a second I thought it was a brub decay and I had like completely messed up. That had been awkward. Thoughts <laughs> on blue eyed versus Jeskai? I think Blue White's a better deck. Just guys probably favored against Blue White. Time of your reinforcement's the best card for Blue White. And it kind of depends on the Blue White version too. I feel like I would do okay with this version. I guess I don't have time in my deck right now. What is you have like double cryptic command in hand, right? Am I actually gonna lose this game? I negate, he cryptics, kill him with Skullnade. Alright. Why oh, is Blue Light better than Jeskai? I don't know, it's better against every deck. Obviously, it's not better against every deck, but. He said this deck is so clunky without a rack. And he just didn't draw land. I've played that matchup twice now, while well, I was the third time, and I only I came close to winning a game, a game the first two times. But um, 24k gold lead, that's what I want to see, all right. My team moves on. Nice. Boy, it's better. You get to play more field of runes, you have better mana. The red cards, I mean, if Lightning Bolt is not good. I was playing in Jeskai Control earlier, and they don't even play Lightning Bolt, just play red for Electrolyze and Lightning Helix. Kind of sad. That's how bad Bolt is right now. The Panga destroyed PL. Yeah, PL is not a hero. It's kind of funny. I, I was casting 
Finko and Rabbits game yesterday and the last pick to PL and I was like, oh god. PL's just such a weak laner. If you get a bit of farm, you can take over the game. If your lane goes well, but it's just not realistic for PL to do well in lane, I think. Little Dota. Dota talk. Oh, Johnny Magic is playing Dota 2, actually. It's the weekend. Johnny Magic is home at 6 p.m. Oh, the Boggles. I love playing against Boggles. Not sure why, but I do. All right, I think against Boggles, you just hold the opt. Yeah, it's a Master's Edition, right? Terminus, Terminus. This card is not that bad, I kind of want to keep. It lets you Terminus too. I'll top it actually. I'm not sure it's correct though. This is a prime prime matchup for the Terminus song, by the way. Tough. Decisions, decisions. Could field of runes into serum visions. Actually, even when you have Turnus in your top 15 cards, sometimes you don't win. Somehow I feel like I've been doing worse against the Boggles deck with the Terminus version than I used to before. I'm not sure what it is about the matchup. Maybe it's just because they have infinite Gadok Teagues after sideboard, maybe, maybe variants. Ranker, Humbra, GG. All right, that's good for me. That they don't have a two-turn clock. Term it, term it. The shark confident. Thanks for the follow. I think I'm gonna need a second terminus. Just more blue mana. Get double white for Terminus. Oh, hard cast Terminus. They also play more basics. I feel like they used to only play one Plains, one Forest. It's not the biggest deal, but it definitely helps them a bit in this matchup, I think. Course Parrot Dancer. I think I like that resolve. I think I counter draw. I think I should path now. They could have like land plus aura. Kind of risky using the cryptic command because it is kind of a time walk. Kind of getting scary. Yeah, I think using Reman on the Rancor would have been okay ish, but then if he has a land, he just gets to cast it again. That's kind of going to be greedy here. I'm going to play Sphere on the Umbra. And I'm just going to click them in their draw step. They do play Path. 
I should probably have by now, but that's fine. I have a bad card on top, right? I have two field of runes on top. Why do you keep double white up? No target for my field of ruin. I was considering minusing on no, never mind. Jace just dies if I do that. All right, we got there. That's the game we're supposed to win. I think matchup gets much worse after sideboard. I don't get any super meaningful cards. And uh, they get uh, Gadok Teague, which is just kind of the nuts. I just can't help myself, sorry. Probably not super wise to tap mana here, but I don't think anything bad can really happen anymore. Their one card in hand is Daybreak Coronet. And concede. Yeah. And Gearhawk's kind of nice, I guess. Maybe Surgical just for Ranker. Let's see. And that Reman was just god awful the entire game. I guess Reman is okay because of Terminus. You probably keep them in. Maybe just board out Cryptic Commands and Jace into Fairy. Because of Guy Teague, just trim. What MMR am I? I think I'm around 3,500. I played a lot today. I played like four or five games. I lost them almost, almost all of them. Didn't play super well. Some didn't have the greatest teammates. Some. I think time your enforcement and Gideon are bad, but. You know, travel's really bad. I don't think Verdict's very good. Counter spells are pretty bad too. You don't think I should board out my cards just because of Gadok Teague? Negate's pretty bad. I could board out Negate. Hmm. Nods, yeah. There's a decent bit of Knight of Autumns in the format. Yeah. Can't even cast a Logic Knot. I'm gonna play Island. This way, playing Island might save me some damage here. It's kind of greedy, but. So they, they play around Snapcaster Mage. Jeez, Grady. Do you even play Magic, Grady? You play like Sword of the Meek once every blue moon. What's up, buddy? Thanks, bud. 19 months. You play Arena. I don't even stream Arena, but I appreciate the support. Arena's kind of gas, though. Terminus.
terminus. How did Strasky do? A dentational? That's the luckiest thing I've ever seen. The lucky resub. The lucky Grady sub. Dude, Grady, I was casting some Dota yesterday. I was casting the the 82L Finkel Rabbits uh, Zach Eflin game. They got smushed. That was not pretty. To be fair, I think the mid player on the other team was uh, smurfing. Dirty, dirty smurf. Naps isn't sm Naps not really smurfing. Naps like super like I'm not even sure he's smurfing anymore. Honestly, I think he can actually play on his. Uh... Well, that's kind of interesting. I think I should play Jace, right? We just jammed the Gear Hulk. What do they have in hand? Just more creatures. Probably just have more creatures. But I don't want to lose my Jace. I'll just jam the Hulk. I'm guessing he's gonna sag the Boggle and play another Boggle. Unravel. Yikes, that's scary. John. Welcome everyone. How's the how's the stream set up? Did you get ever did you get everything kind of figured out? Everything kind of fixed? Yikes, we're kind of in a bad spot now. Woof! The lucky raids. Still not in a great spot though. Welcome everyone. I'm not an MPL pro, but uh, I do okay once in a while. Six six, I'm just dead. Wow. Uh, I think I should Jace. What am I gonna do? Chum block. I feel like I messed up. I must have messed up that game. I'm not sure. Oh, God's oh, GG, right? Maybe I'll forget. Can I get lucky with a terminus here? No, I can't, right? I have the boon in the graveyard. All I have to do is remember to bring it back. Uh, this is kind of rough losing that game. I figured it out. Boon is like surprisingly good. Yeah, I mean, they had a pretty solid draw. Boggle into Gadok Teague. They drew a bunch of cards. I think I played that game all right. On the play, Gadok Teague is probably a tiny bit less scary. Verdict is fine. I don't know. I think Verdict's pretty bad, honestly. Timely. I think Timely is pretty bad, too. Doesn't deal with Gadok Teague. Doesn't buy you that much time. I think all my one and two mana cards are good. I think these cards are good. It's kind of like, do I want angels or do I want these cards, I feel. Angels can be drive dev, kind of a slow draw and a lot of like sideward cards.
how to get on the PT? Well, not too sure I would. Ugh. Clear Hulk really good. And I don't have Terminus in my opening hand. I think I'm gonna keep. Is that awful? It's probably pretty bad, right? Uh, Hulk Smash. I'm not too sure how to answer your questions, but should I have kept that? I probably should have bottomed that. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no secret recipe to get on the PT. You just have to play a lot and hope to get a bit lucky at some point. You also probably just want to wait and see uh, what they announce. You know how the whole system's gonna work. But um, all right. So do I actually want that Snapcaster Mage? Kind of do, I think. Just having a blocker. What does Snapcaster Mage really do for me? Not that much. So blocker for Gaddock Teague. I want to make sure I draw my fur land on turn three. I could just search for basic island. Basic Island or Dual Land. You didn't have to, but appreciate it. All right, I think I want to dig aggressively, find a Snapcaster. That's a good draw too. Sometimes you want to play the Terminus game, but given their draw is just bad, just dig aggressively. At the low levels, everyone cheats in paper magic? Really? I don't think so. Maybe you just... Maybe where you live, it's kind of bad. That's kind of unfortunate if that's the case. Definitely want to counter that. And if they have a... If they have a bog as well. Card's super scary. All right, what are my options? Just say go. Can bounce the arbor at some point. What should I do? Counter draw, counter bounce. Could also let it resolve. They obviously are super low. They probably have a handful of enchantments. Do I care about a dryad? Not really. I'm gonna draw. You didn't see anything, you didn't notice. There was no pause. Hey Lolly. The superstar is here. I'll just path it. Getting a little value from field of ring is nice too. 
They do have Unraveled Aeth there. Do I even Detention Sphere get Octigue right away? Or do I wait a bit? Huh. Well. If they have Unravel, I might just lose. Maybe I'm, I think I messed up. I don't know why I pathed right away. Who cares about my life total? All right, looks like I'm not getting punished, which is nice. I'm just gonna Teferi minus. This way I have Teferi in play. And if they have Gadok Teague, it's not that big of a deal. You fixed your internet, you just had to yell at your service provider, yeah. It's not even yell at them, it's just... Sometimes, eventually, you just like run into someone competent that's, and that's actually kind of willing to help you. You just have to get lucky, it's like a lot of things in life. It's like... A little luck. Anyways. Should you play blue white at the Mystic Championship? I mean, if you want to win. If you want to win, you should play blue white. If you want to lose, you should play something else. I think I just keep using my Terminus and save the cards that don't get wrecked by Gadok T. I mean, at this point, I guess I can't lose anymore. Oh, there's probably a better deck than Blue White. I don't know what it is, though. Why is Blue White good right now? I don't know. I think it's good against Tron, good against Grixis Shadow, good against Phoenix. It's tough though. There's definitely like. Depends how you build it. They're gonna. You can't beat everything. You can't have a favorable matchup against everything. If you're trying to beat all these decks, then you're probably going to get weaker and stuff like Burn, Blue White Spirits, Humans, maybe. Depends what you, how you build your deck. If you like winning every match 2-1, two, two then Blue White is for you. I mean, play some Amulet at him. I mean, you can you can ship the list to Edgar. You can make good use of it and take the input. Uh, I could play some Amulet again. I would definitely, if you asked me to play a league with Amulet, I would definitely do it. If you if you have a list you like, not tonight, obviously, but sometime next week. Should I even counter it? It's one less card in my graveyard. It makes no sense to counter Inquisition, right? They're going to take Inquisition 100% of the time. And they know the rest of my hands. Yeah. Problem with this deck is that I don't have the gemstone mine, so I'll need to get the cards from Edgar at some point. That's really close to what we were playing the other day, right? It was like, what, one plus one pack, plus one pack. No Ballista, what? Isn't Ballista the best card in the deck? 
What are we playing against? Mardu Pyromancer or Jaunt? Probably Jaunt. I have to play just off chance. They have a Blood Moon. I need to play Flooded Strand, even though it even though it means they know my hand now. All right, it's Jaunt. Looks good with the symbol. This is kind of a close one. I think I discard Path. Let's see. I'm going to play a land, draw a card. Trusty Wall of Omens, so good. Wow. Yellow hat, mother freaking wow. Kind of just get dark confident. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna Liliana plus anyways. I could have gotten Liliana too. I'll gamble. I ain't, no, I ain't scared of no Liliana. That's not proper English, Gab. Bloodbraid would be nasty. No gamble, no future. Maybe I should have gotten Liliana. Maybe that was a bit aggro. I think it's close. I think it's legit close. What do you? What do people think? Liliana, was it? What should I have minus on Liliana or on confident? Easy, Bob. Wancha. All right. What are not even plusing? What the... Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? Now my hand is just great. Just say go, right? What do they have that they're not plusing? Oh, Fatal Push. Good call. Trophy that would definitely trophy the fairy, right? Well, if you're not gonna plus... Maybe I should play the second to fairy. Am I in a rush? Hmm. Um. <laughs> no. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to play to fairy last turn. Oh. Hmm. I think I'm so far ahead, I should just play Teferi, right? Oh, we're pretty sure that's Shadow Push in hand. I guess I should play my man as well. Oh, it's Assassin's Trophy. Oh. Hmm. I'll definitely not play my land now. I guess they had a plan to try and keep Liliana alive. Jace, the mind sculpture, better than all. Pretty sure this game is 100% over. There's no coming back. Oh, wow. I don't have white mana left in my deck. All right. They actually have a shot now. Oh, wow, that was awful. Classic. I'll make it competitive. Because I got really lucky. All right. Thank God. It's nice. It's nice when they don't just have it all. 
I do appreciate it, opponent. Not having the discard spell into turn to buff. Have I revisited Black White Sewer? Not really, it's the same build. I tried a few different cards the other day. I didn't have all the Lianas, but uh, I played a league, was it yesterday, I think? Couple, couple of white black leagues, couple of different builds, I think. It was all right. It's like it's like a tier two deck, I think. You can you you'll win maybe half your matches on Magic Online, and the deck's kind of fun. I might play it again. I got all my um, I got all my cards back. I got my Liliana backs, etc., etc. All right, this is good. I never really know how to sideboard in this matchup. I think timely is reasonable. You definitely want purge. You maybe you want negate. You definitely want verdict. You maybe want the angels. You definitely do not want surgical. Wall of Omen is pretty huge in this matchup. I think you actually want all the terminus. And I think the angels are pretty bad overall. I think click is pretty bad. Counter spells are pretty bad in general. I could just board out all the counter spells, just keep in logic. Could try no counter spells at all. Maybe click is okay. I'll try click. I'll I think it's bad, but I'll I'll give it a try. No. In Why is wall good? Hux Bloodbraid Elf for free. I'm gonna do an Angel. I think it was timely in wall to protect it. It could be. They keep in bold. F Colgan's command. Click is like. It's just card disadvantage almost always. They even have Liliana the last hope in their deck usually. Oh, Fulminator Mage. Man. Fulminator Mage is a reason to keep counter spells in. Fulminator Mage just wrecks you after sideboard. But maybe I can dodge it. I'll see. I guess I'll play Hallowed Fountain turn one. Wait, they'll let me play first? Right, that's some kind of sick joke. That cannot be right. That's. I think that's bad. Probably glad they did on the mulligan. I don't know. It's kind of it. They took path? Wow, I did not expect them to take path there. So they're gonna play Bob, so I probably wanna start digging. I guess Wall digs as well. Playing Wall is a bit worse if I have Terminus in my top two cards though. Terminus, Terminus. Man, I think I have to graveyard that. A lot of good cards. So I could play Colonnade, and I can like Path, Snap, Path. Or I can just play Wall. And then things get really awkward. And I'm gonna only draw one of the two cards. If I keep path on top, I can go wall of omens plus path next turn. If I keep snap on top, I can go snap path. That's it. Actually, I'm dumb. I should have played wall. I don't know. I'm just brain dead. I should have played wall, and then next turn I just go snap cast or pay. That was bad. It's not the end of the world, I think, but I think it was bad. What did they reveal, by the way? Tarmogorf. Tarmogorf's kind of. I think playing wall was actually better. 
I have two good cards on top. Mm, not good. Mm. It's kind of tricky. We go giddy in the wall, but then they get to draw an extra card. Or I could just go Jace. Chase Brainstorm. I think I kind of like Gideon Wall though. Even though it means I don't kill the. the Bob right away. Chase Bounce. I think Jace Bounce is by far my worst option. I guess my worst option is play Flooded Trans, sack it, and fail to find. And then after that, I think Jace, Jace Bounce is the next worst option. Well, I mean, Jace Bounce, you know, that looked pretty smart, actually. Jace Bounce looking pretty good right now. Joke's on me. Your genius tracks. How would Jay's Bounce be bad outside of Blood Braids? I don't know. Could have Lightning Bolt. If they have Blood Braid, I probably lose the game if I Jay's Bounce like. I haven't been paying attention to the lands they've been playing, I guess. Maybe I could have deduced that they were unlikely to have red and. They really need land. Tracker go? Wow. Their draw's just awful. I'm assuming I'm supposed to keep, even though I don't cast it right away. Wow. Basic swamp. Beautiful, beautiful, full art, basic. At any cost. I should block, right? Should have tapped their team. I think getting them to free for sure when they have Bobbin plays much better. I don't think seeing Go tapping their team accomplishes much. It's just the same thing. So what does getting read once it's activated? It's indestructible. All right. Oh, oh that's actually pretty sick. It's the one. Terminus, Terminus. Easy. Easy to cl The chef killed their Bob. Um, probably. Now this is the round where we lose. I think I've been going like 3-0, losing round 4, winning round 5. I've lost round 1 too once, I guess. Evolution, Evolution Sage. Just the name you can tell this card is gonna be gas. Green and 2, free 2, uncommon, Elf Druid. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, proliferate? What? That card seems kind of... Busted. Is it the new Tireless Tracker? Tireless Tracker 2.0. Oh. Basically last place. I wonder if my report is up yet. 
I read a report too. Penis so nice. Oh, see. Channel Fireballs are really, really good website. Hashtag sponsored. Unless you hate free content made by some of the best players in the world, then maybe Channel Fireball is not for you. But if you do... Ooh, I have the Field of Rune Surgical Hand against Scape Shift. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! Let's punish some fools. Yikes. That's kind of scary, actually. I might never get to punish them. They might kill me without getting a Valakid in play. It's definitely a possibility. Should I go down to 18? I'm going to take damage at some point, right? I'll just go down to 18. What's still bugged? Is Sam Powder bugged? How many counters do they need? Two or three? It's three quest counters. Oh, well, I guess. Please play a Valakit. The versions that have been doing well are actually kind of good against Blue White. One of the best cards you can play against Blue White is uh, Hour of Promise. Hour of Promise is just terrible. Just that sweet spot, I'd have double Valakut. Yeah. Hmm. Kinda wish I had me. Eh. So they have Scape Shift, I'm just dead. That's kind of unfortunate. Can I do anything? I guess they need land plus scape shift or ram spell plus. No, never mind. They just need scape shift. Oh. I guess I'll lose. Oh, never mind, the hand is kind of bad. Can get a Titan. Titan's gonna be a lot of damage. It's only gonna be six damage. Two Flame Slash, two Angers of the Gods, and a Sweltering Sun. Two Relic of Progenitor. Do I have to worry about. The oh, they don't have Lightning Bolt. That's what they cut. So once I path and get rid of the last Valakut, I have pretty much nothing to worry about. Alright, looks like we win. That was pretty lucky. Oh no, never mind, am I just dead? Can't tell if I'm dead or if I win. It's, no, it's nowhere near enough damage, right? All right, and there's no point in passing right now. No, there's not. Yeah. Oh, actually, passing now would have been good. I'm gonna take six, but if I path right, yeah, that was dumb. No, no, if I path in response, I only take six because they only have four mountains plus one five. I messed up. It's not a big deal though. I can just spin.
Is it? Oh, oops. I guess their version's not too hateful. They don't have Hour of Promise. They don't have Lightning Bolt. They have Anger and Flame Slash instead. Relic. Relic is good. Relic can definitely be. You don't have that many hard counters, so just having a relic for my one snapcaster mage can be the difference between. Just top top was vision. Yeah, I don't know why they're not scooping. It's pretty up. All right. Hey, Camel. Cosmic. Stony Silence is kind of a favorite of mine in this matchup. I don't know if it's actually good. I saw two Relics main deck, which makes me want to have Stony Silence. Tra they usually have tracker after a sideboard too. It's a bit narrow. Also two certain nah, Surge Bill's pretty good. Dispel is good. Path is four paths probably too many. Gideon's kind of hit or miss. I think Gideon. I think the tensions here is okay. They have some weird cards sometimes, like kind of insurance. Stony Silence is, I think it's still not good enough. I think Stony Silence becomes good if you know they have four relics and one or two trackers. But I'm not sure they're gonna have more relics up for sideboards. And the angels are probably bad too. Kinda want something to be able to be the Carnage Tyrant. Angel kind of helps you race Carnage Tyrant. Also, sometimes they just bring obstinate Bailoffs and stuff for their dead cards. So Angel's kind of a nice hedge. His verdict's pretty bad. Path is nice too. Pathing your own dudes, having insurance in the late game. Um, let's see what it. The last two cuts are kind of tricky. I think the second surgical might actually be bad. Like this game it almost it almost missed. Alright, I'm only gonna bring in one. Oh, good old 61 cards. Probably Path to Exile was the cut. Three paths probably more than enough. But ramping yourself in this matchup is Irrelevant. Rip. Relic's just way too good. Is Arena down, Brendan? I'm not sure. This is not Arena. I know you're old and your your eyesight is probably uh decline. Someone tell Brandon is arena done or not. I think you can like status server MTG Arena. They probably have a website for that. MTG Arena status. All system operationals. Look like I usually don't uh, don't make fun of uh, my viewers, but when I do, I make sure I make fun of my subs only. Oh, that's why surgical sucks too. Relic actually counters the surgical interaction. 
Yeah, surgical is bad against Relic. I should probably. That's why I kind of like Stony in this matchup. Relic's just really, really good against. <sighs> And basically does nothing. Yeah, I'm bringing in Stony Silence in Game Free. I think I'm just gonna two for one. Man, Fair is not even good to have. Why did I play Field Over in? Because I'm a moron. Good grief. Should have done their draw step. Not in a terrible spot, even though that relic's just come. Well, they're not messing around. They're going for their Valakut instantly. That card's pretty scary. Turns Valakut into a kind of GG. I guess I can. Alright, I'll gamble. I'll let it resolve. I might even be able to force a... I don't think they're gonna sack Rally just for that, but... We'll... I could not resist. Alright, we need to dodge. I mean, I think I'm very far ahead. I could still lose, but I think I'm a huge favorite. As long as they don't have... I, mean, I guess my hand's not that great. If you want to get rid of that prismatic omen, though, I think. It's really good if they draw Valakut. Yeah, I should get rid of it. Maybe I should save it for a Titan. I think I'm supposed to get rid of it, though. Let's go. Let's go cryptic command. <laughs> what can I say? I've been playing the deck for a while. I could feel it. I could feel the war and cryptic command a bit thinner, maybe. Oh, the host. Thanks, Yana Killer. Welcome, everyone. We're about to be 4 0 in our modern league, maybe, probably. Playing for a trophy. I can't wait to see. Uh, what I'm gonna be punting to. Oh, 
Why would you not sack Rally there? You like a mistake. Lock it up. Lock it up, lock it in. Did you lock in uh, hard-earned scales for the for the Mythic Championship yet? Fine, fine, you can have a care. That's one, that's one good look. I'm not playing with my food. Chase, damn it. I think it's still a real. It's kind of scary. I think I'm okay. They need, I don't know what they need. They need a lot. They need a Valakut, first of all. I don't know, they just... Maybe they don't need that much. I have Field of Rune to mess with them a bit. That might help against Valakut. Bidding the land was a misplay. I played the land, I played she had the land. I could have maybe emblem to fairy and like counter draw, I get to exile the permanent. Oh, if that's the best. They must have drawn pretty terrible on that last turn. I guess Valakut was really the only relevant card, right? Playing in Scumbag, Scumbag GG, Valakid again? I don't know if it's the same version or something a bit different. Oh, my hand's kind of crap. Field of Ruin, Detention Sphere, no good. We need a Snappy Boy. Snappy Boy, a oh, pretty boy. I don't know where that came from. It used to be Steppy Boy, as in Step Links. Something we just started saying, I guess. Steppy Boy, a oh, pretty boy. Mono Terminus Control. It. Oh, 
So that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yes. When I was when I was supposed to feel over in here, could I afford to? God, my hand is awful. Draw a step. Yeah, I can probably say go and no. Yeah. They got me down to 18. Tribalber's work is done. I think that's a bad play. I think I should play basic island. I think it might actually influence uh, my opponent's play. I don't know, you could argue that if I had nothing, I would pay two life to bluff a cryptic command, so that if I'm not paying two life, I actually have a mana leak or a remand. That's probably a bit far-fetched. Yeah. Better saved than sorry, I guess. What are the odds, scumbag GG and SK GG? Okay, yeah, the trails gets a bit better against the. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Alright. My hand is perfect. I have it all. You hear that? Come back, GG. I have it all. I don't know. Maybe it's not the same person, but... Oh, well, you guys can play in the dark for... Uh, or one game. Yeah, I was I was in a hurry when I made it. It should be like a bunch of Ghostbusters in a row. This is a bit weak. Is is that the is that a version that won the GP or something? Why is it hard? I mean, I don't think it's bad or anything. I'm just all right. Guess I'm just gonna do that. And... If they have like Omen plus Fetchland, I mean. All right, it's a lot of mana. Four, five, six. Wait, what? Why did I tell them what to do? Oh. To... <sighs> I almost jaced right away just in case they realize it. That's so. Oh well. Yeah, obviously they're terrible. 
You just order order portal. That's To what point did we suspect him of sniping? I don't know, he just jammed scape shift, which is not super suspicious, I don't know. It's kind of unclear at this point. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of a pity. I think it was that extra JC activation. I was in pretty good shape. I mean, my hand is pretty good, but. That extra chase activation. Would have been pretty huge. That sucks. Feels bad. Feels doubly, doubly bad when there's sus I mean, I can still win. I guess I'm, I'm just, I'm just, Never gonna get that 5 0. Just 4 1 for life. Do, do. Why did it suspend search for tomorrow? Such a weird play. Cast it. Is there hope? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Have shadow of doubt in hand. I hope he sat. <laughs> wow, I get another Jace activation. This is just great. Kind of unfortunate. I actually got rid of a verdict earlier. This is looking pretty grim. <sighs> Sorry. Trying to figure. Cryptic, yeah. I know, I hope he attacks into my cell around. Please draw Colony Heart Expedition. That amazing card. Prismatic Omen is allowed.
I will I will see a little too. Oh, not that one. What's it gonna be? Face or Jace? Obviously you should just get rid of Jace. Open I think I'm like I don't know if I'm a favorite, but I'm definitely in pretty good shape. I don't like pretty good shape, but yeah, you get it. Bounce, path, search. All right, let's see, I have seven. If I do that, One, two, four. that, opt, up. I think I got messed up. Yeah, pretty sure I could have played that a bit better. I messed up. It was bad. I need to dodge the world again. Yeah, that's pretty awful. I mean, I'm not sure I would have mattered, but I'm not sure how I was. I keep drawing the worst cards in. I'm looking for a field of ruin. May I have these? Damn it. I just do surgical extraction. Life is a resource. Winning the game at one, game at 20. Should I search? Oh, whatever. I'll play it safe. Cheese. It's kind of absurd. Hell are my uh... could play Lyra. Are you playing the fairies? I'll lose if they sandbag the spell and they have like double double kill. Maybe I got greedy. I could have hmm, I guess we're about to find out. Could have played the fairy plus the fairy and then have double counter spell up. But I went with the read that that's something good they might have played it last turn anyways. I don't know. That was a pretty absurd game. Did not think I was gonna win. All right, I obviously have it all now. I don't think I lose to any cards. Yeah, so early in the turn when I had Jace and stuff, my hand was just awful. My hand was like, Path, Detention Sphere, 
I kept drawing like lands. It was it was. Gideon, I kind of like Gideon against Pris. I mentioned it earlier. Like you plus it on Valakut, it's kind of okay. Also, Carnage turns a bit scary. I don't want to do Gideon, but Path is okay. Also, Surgical is bad against Relic. Stony sounds maybe. Wow, oh, Adam. Jeez. Uh, yeah, screw surgical. Rally just kind of owns me, honestly. Owns me really hard. Maybe I should have Stony Sound. Probably don't need all these five mana cards. I'll do one Surgical, but I think Surgical is okay. Sphere seems bad, and no, I think Sphere... Oh, they have Reclamation Sage. I get bored at all the enchantments. They played multiple Reclamation Sage. But then they're gonna know. I gotta try that. Timely. Tommy's kind of bad in this matchup. Jeez. Alright, I'll just do that. Kind of sketchy. Search kind of won me that game. Also, if they're, if they're actually watching, now they know. Maybe they didn't have time to change, though. That was a lot of subs. Adam? I wouldn't say single-handedly supporting this stream, but kind of close. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Five gifted subs. Welcome, everyone. Cosmic Candle gifted a sub as well. And gifted another sub, a uh, cosmic camo. And another one. And another one. Jeez. That's a lot of subs. Thank you so much, Cosmic Camo. get used to that. I think I might may maybe making the clip a tiny bit shorter. Maybe I shouldn't.
And a cheer. I feel bad. We're not even going to get the trophy. Who just cheered? I missed it. Wow, so many subs. Lost track. And then we also had Prime Edge, who resub with a Twitch Prime sub. Uh, all right, this is kind of ugly. It was HK Lives, 50 bits. Uh, thanks, bud. <laughs> Make it stop. Oh, it's gonna be over soon, and I don't think uh, I don't think poor little Bane Slayer here has any match for uh, what our opponent has, unfortunately. I'll try though. I kept kind of a sketchy hand, and I didn't draw especially well. Adam with some more gifted subs. Gifted 24 subs to the channel, and I don't even know how much in the nation. Thank you so much, bud. All right. Yeah, I kept a pretty sketchy hand. My opening hand was Freelance, two Snapcaster, two Path to Exile. Maybe four paths too many. I think I should just keep in the enchantments. Whatever. If they draw Reclamation Sage, honestly, it's not even the end of the world. Well, I didn't trophy the, the league, but... I don't think a miracle saves me this game. We'll see. Never know. You never know. I'm that brickle. Well, their hands. Free relics. One, two, six, twelve. I don't know how many basics they have, though. I think they only had six basics mountain. Jeez, Cosmic Cannon. Ooh, you gifted a sub to Panasonic, one of the Greeks. I think they only had six mountains in game two. We'll see, we're about to find out. <laughs> I love it. Panasonic gets this, the sub gifted and instantly. And instantly knows what to do. The yellow hat pigeon emotes. All right, no, they can get, yeah, I'm dumb. They can get a stomping ground with the fetch land. All right, let's get that one up. All right, GG's. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I should have mulligans. It's kind of a tough match. 